Good morning to all. I am Kalinati. Today we are going to see uh, construction materials and technology, which we had already seen in part one about the stones and its classification. Today we are going to see about timber and its effect. First, timber. Timber. And tell you what is wrong with timber. Actually, timber it is a wood which is suitable for building or engineering purposes. And it is applied to the trees, which is measuring not less than 0 0.6 meter in growth. Uh, for the timber used in a building construction, it should have good characters. What are those means? Like it should have minimum color. It should have straight and close fibers. A good timber should heavy in weight. And it should be free from shakes, flaws, and dead bones. The advantages of using timber is generally what we can say is it is light in weight, yet it is strong. It is easily available and can be quickly transported. When properly protected, it may give good service for hundreds of years. And it is a good insulator of heat and soil. See, whatever the material we take, definitely that will be an advantage and that will be a disadvantage. And what is the disadvantage of using timber in construction field is? It is ready combustibility and it can be easily decayed by insects like fungi, termites, etc. The timber swells and undergoes shrinkage with changing atmospheric humidity. And let us see what are those defects. First, find facts in timber. A defect is an irregularity or abnormality occurring in or on wood, which is responsible for its growth, which is responsible for its strength reduction, lowering of durability, uh, utility reduction, poor appearance, and decay. The classification of defects in timber is caused due to natural forces, conversion, seasoning, insects, and fungi. First, defects due to natural forces. What are those? Is chemical stain, rind, galls, shakes, upsets, twisted fibers, knots, and buds. Okay. See, this figure shows the uh, three defects which reduce the wood quality. In a tree, what, where, how birds occurs, how not, and how dead limb, how bird, like those and all is given here. First, chemical stain. The wood is sometimes discolored by the chemical action caused with it by some exology. This is known as chemical stain. And what is meant by ring girls? Ring girls, the ring means bark and gall means abnormal growth. So the abnormal growth in the uh, bark, which is called ring girls. Shakes. There are longitudinal separations in wood between the annual rings. These are the cracks which partly or completely separate fibers of wood. The separation makes the wood undesirable when appearance is important. Types of shake, shakes are star shakes, cup shakes, hard shakes, and ring shakes. The word and the, the word, sorry, that is the term annual rings. It is used to determine the age of the wood. But how much the ring is there, that is the age of the timber or wood we can see. Star shakes. So this diagram is the star shakes, which represents like a star in the outer line. These are the cracks which extend from bark towards the sap wood. These are the wider at outside ends and narrower at inside ends. They are usually found due to extreme heat or severe frost during the growth of the tree. And next is cup shake. It appears as curved split, which partly or wholly separates annual rings from one another. It is caused due to excessive frost action on sap present in the tree, especially when the tree is young. Hard shakes, these cracks occur in center of the cross section of tree, as the name says, hot, visibly in center. So it occurs in center. This defect divides the tree cross section into two or four parts. Ring shake, when cup shakes covers the entire, they are known as ring shakes. And now classification on form and quality basis. Dead knot, knot which is separated from the body of wood. It is not safe to use wood with such a knot for engineering purpose. Whereas GK knot is popular as unsound knot or formed by action on fungi on wood. Lime knot, it is thoroughly fixed in wood and cannot be separated out from the body of the wood. It is free from cracks and decay. Wood containing this knot can be used for engineering purposes. Loose knot, it is preliminary stage of dead knot. Round knot, the cross section of this type of knot is either round or oval. Tight knot, it is preliminary stage of live knot. These fibers of knot are firmly held in surrounding the wood. Next, birds. 
they are particularly formed when a tree receives shock or injury in its young age itself so because of that injury um the tree's growth is completely upset and the projections uh, appear irregularly on the body of the timber wind cracks these are the cracks on the outside of the log which is due to the shrinkage of exterior surface and now effects due to conversion chipmark diagonal grain torn grain and wind first it is chipmark see this diagram gives you chipmark we can see this uh, defect very often in uh, in most of the building places this defect is indicated by mark or signs which is placed on the finished surface of the tip they may be formed by planning machine while we are uh, doing some sort of uh, polishing surface with this defect occurs and diagonal grain this defect is formed due to improper sawing of the timber it is indicated by diagonal marks on straight green surface of timber torn grain the it is a defect caused when a small depression is formed on a finished surface of timber by falling a timber or so b this defect is denoted by presence of original rounded surface of manufactured part of timber defects due to seasoning twist cup bow and spring defect due to fungi blue stain brown rot dry rot hot rot wet rot and white rot in this we oftenly see blue stain and brown rot so for that only i have given the pictures in a clear cut definition so blue stain the sap of the wood is stained to bluish color by the action of certain type of fungi and brown rot term rot is used that's all about today's session we will continue this topic in next session thank you